There's nothing stopping me pulling through somewhere, drive through and getting food. I gave Katie a haul of my groceries that she didn't even ask for. All shows this season were cancelled. Welcome back to another YouTube video and to this Bikini Prep Diaries episode 7 which is actually going to be my last episode and I'm going to explain why. So if you saw my last episode you would have seen at the very end I spoke about how Nationals was cancelled. Then literally probably like 5 minutes later I got the news that all shows this season were cancelled or postponed so I just wanted to like come on here I don't want to talk about it too too much um I've had a few days to kind of let it sink in I'm still like I feel like I'm in the denial phase like is it actually cancelled like because it just doesn't feel real yet but it is what it is and I just kind of want to talk about my mindset around it obviously I am devastated I have worked so hard <laughs> oh my god I have never worked so hard in my life I have been prepping since about the 13th of April and it is now the 26th of August so June July so over four months now I have been prepping I have not had one meal off plan I had the meal in Sydney that was coach approved but other than that I have not had one cardio session missed not one training session missed not one macro missed I had posing lessons I you know did all did the whole thing and you know it's really unfortunate that this is the situation in the world we live in now and you know what like i did go into this prep knowing that it could be cancelled so i'm you know i'm obviously devastated because i put a lot of work in but i'm trying to look at all the silver linings and see it as a bit of a blessing in disguise this just means more time to come back even better and i'm really trusting in the universe's timing i think maybe if comps were to go to go ahead maybe it wouldn't have been my absolute best maybe there's just a better time for me, which, you know, I have more time to refine now and come back even better and even stronger, which I am really excited for. Obviously, game plan moving forward, you should probably all, all wondering, like, am I still going to diet? What's the plan? So I messaged my coach Monday when the comps got cancelled. It's now Thursday. We decided that we are going to sort of reverse diet until the end of next week so i am back on macros now which is nice um though i haven't really steered away from my meal plan just because i just i don't know i'm just such a creature of habit but we decided we're gonna reverse diet until the end of next week and then the end of next week i'm actually going away to early beach with my friend for her 21st so i told him hey is it okay if i just have the week and because i've just been at this for so long now like so long i think if I was to try and restrict myself on a holiday, it wouldn't be healthy for me or my mindset. So I think it'd be good to have the week off. I'm not going to have the week off training because I love training. It's my passion. Um, but the week off tracking or any of that, and it's not to like blow out and eat the world or anything. It's just to not have to think about it or stress about it. So I think that'd be really good um, just as a bit of a holiday and all of that. Then when I come back from from Ellie Beach I do actually have some photo shoots booked in October because that's originally like you know when I was competing so what we have decided to do is I'll get back from Ellie Beach and then we will finish the job off and continue dieting I probably depending on my condition after I get back from Ellie which hopefully isn't too much higher um I don't you know it's not like the goal is to get stage lean but I do want to lean out a little bit so right now I'm sitting around like 50, like 56.9, 57 kilos. If I can get down to about the 55s, I think that would be ideal. And then from that point onwards, um, we will reverse out, which will be kind of perfect to reverse from like October and try and get the calories as high as possible in, um, because in December, like I'm going to want to have, you know, a few on track days and, um, you know, just have a bit more flexibility while also maintaining the condition. Now, as for competing plans, I will definitely be going into season B next year. The reason I'm not doing season A is because I have my 21st in March and I don't really want to be prepping through that. I want to be able to enjoy it, but I will definitely be doing season B. Uh, that might be here or it might be international. We don't know yet. We're still waiting on 
a few things around that so i'll go into that sort of thing later in a different video but either way i'm competing in the later half of next year no matter what so that's really good that i have a set plan to compete because i can be really focused with my reverse diet i think what this prep has taught me more than anything is the importance of a good off season and not blowing out and really like not dieting through the off season either because it was a very it was a very very big grind for me to get into condition this year and i think that's just because and i spoke about this in a previous video but I just dieted too much throughout my off season I didn't take it I took it seriously but I could have done it better if I want to be like an, a proper athlete so I know from how much I've had to grind this year that one I don't want to just throw all that work away and wait like you know undo all of my hard work and I want to set myself up to have the most successful prep next year and obviously prep's always going to be a struggle no matter what but I want my body to be in a really optimal position in saying that I do really need to focus on getting my health intact as well I think overall I'm actually really healthy the only thing that is of a concern is my menstrual cycle as I haven't gotten it since May I think so it's been quite a while and I lost it last prep too but obviously reproductive health hormonal health is very very important especially you know i do want to ha be able to have kids when i'm older um and everything as well that is something that's really important to me so and i like don't want competing to get in the way of like that sort of thing um which it won't if you go about it the right way so that's going to be my point of focus so game plan reverse till the end of next week take a little bit of a break uh while away in early then come back uh finish the job off and then reverse from there so i'm excited for what the future has in store my mindset around this whole thing obviously i was devastated but i was really worried about how i would sort of go post comp in terms of my mindset around food and my like will i have any urges to binge or go crazy because i've been restricted like you know restricted for so long i essentially have um I've been hardcore dieting i've been in a deficit and all of this but i'm my mindset's really quite strong this time around i don't feel any urges to binge any urges to go off plan i don't, I don't know i'm really surprised because in the past i have struggled with a bit of i wouldn't like diagnose myself and say i had binge eating disorder but i did struggle really hardcore with binge eating um throughout my teen years and also post comp last time so i'm really surprised that after so much restriction this year i'm missing out on so much and drilling my body to the ground that i have no urges to really go off plan or binge or any of that um on monday i did have a little obviously i had a, like a little cheat meal of course i think i deserved it um so what we did i texted my roommate or my best friend katie and i said hey like i'm pretty upset but i just want to hang out with you get taco bell and all that so we drove to taco bell sat at uh, kangaroo point in brisbane city and just went, looked at the view ate mexican food and then on the way home i got some ben and jerry's and a Kit Kat, and i did smash the whole Ben and Jerry stub and the Kit Kat. I haven't had dairy since long, long ago, since probably March. So my stomach hated me for that. It kept me up till about 1 a.m. That's totally fine. But then, yeah, I was like done after that. And I was like, I don't really feel the urge to, you know, eat any more treats or anything, which I'm really, I'm happy about because it means I have control and my mindset's in a much stronger place, which is awesome. It makes me feel really good. And I think I'm just really proud of myself for that because I think the biggest takeaway from this prep is the person I've stepped into, the self-control I've gained and the discipline I've created throughout this process. I've always been a fairly disciplined person, but I think I lost that a little bit last year and I gave into temptations way too much. But this year I've really proven to myself um, that my discipline is, <laughs> I think like next level and my self-control is a lot better and self-control and discipline is one of the biggest forms of self-care in my opinion anyway so yeah i'm really happy like with how i am mentally around it all i'm excited to have a week off early i'm gonna have a dinner out with family and friends tomorrow so just to celebrate my hard work as if we would if there was a comp so yeah a bit of a devastating situation but it is what it is. I'm going to control what I can. I'm excited to keep finish the job off for those photo shoots and I'll obviously take you guys along the journey. And obviously now my content's going to change a little bit more. Obviously, it's not going to be solely prep focused. What I'll do is I'll finish off like a little four week series of leading into my shoots of the, like a bit of a dieting series because I know you guys really were enjoying this uh, prep series. But now I can bring you some more like full days of eating, some more videos. So if you have any video suggestions, like please comment them down below and I'm happy to, you know, start doing those. I know someone asked for an apartment tour, which is super cool. So my apartment's not that exciting, but it's like, yeah, just video suggestions of things you guys want to see. But a lot more full days of eating, a lot more 
lifestyle, vlogs, informative videos, um, and all of that. So I really enjoy doing this YouTube thing. I know I'm not a big channel, but I really want to continue on with it and see where we can kind of take this. And I really appreciate everyone's support throughout the past like few weeks. I started this series at 12 weeks out and the support I have received has been so amazing. And all the messages the past few days in particular have, you know, they've really made a really big impact and I appreciate every single person who has you know taken the time out to send me a message and ask if I'm okay I'm definitely okay I have my moments I had a moment last night but there's you know I know that there's bigger things in the world than competing and you know I'm glad as I said in my other video I think last week I don't have all my eggs in one basket I don't place all my happiness on competing I have been really focusing on my girls and my legs easy fit team which by the way I do have my momentum 12 week program that is now live so I'll leave the link in the description down below this is just a 12 week group coaching program designed to help you girls get in the best shape of your lives but also learn along the way and be a part of a community there is prizes at the end is $140 worth of prizes so super exciting winner is the best transformation but also the person who is the most adherent and involved in the program as well so super exciting and I really hope like it'd be awesome if any of you wanted to get involved just go to the description down below there's going to be more information there to sign up it's literally like less than half the price of normal coaching so really affordable and yeah it's gonna be exciting anyway I'm going to vlog the rest of my day. I'll chat to you later. I just want to have that sit down chat about everything. But I will chat to you guys later. I've... Oh, that lighting. I've just finished up uni for the day. Yes, I'm a uni student. And now I'm off to pick up mum and we're going to the Gold Coast. I forgot what I was going to say. I'm pretty hungry and like there's nothing stopping me pulling through somewhere, drive through and getting food. But I'm staying strong. I've got three meals of chicken, rice and veg in my bag. And I'm getting grilled for dinner. So I'm going to vlog that. But yeah. Alright, so even though the show's over, I'm still staying on track. I've got my chicken, rice and veggie meal. Which actually I kind of crave now. Like I really enjoy this meal. I thought that like once prep's over, I'd be gagging at it, but I'm not. And um, we have grilled for dinner tonight, so I wanted to stay on track. Everything's tracked for and all of that. I'm not looking at this situation as an excuse to, you know, go crazy or blow out because I've worked too hard to get to where I am. And you know, like I'm in control of what I put into my body, and I would rather feel my body correctly than just feed it a bunch of junk. So. Staying on track, on the go, no excuses. <laughs> About to make a pretty big purchase. Yum. I look so rough, but I have had a bit of a rough evening, but I'm not gonna go into that. What I want to do is unbox my first. Well, I bought my first designer thing a few weeks ago, which was a coach wallet. I know it's not like fully designer, but then I bought something else designer today. So I want to show you guys and I want to unbox it on camera. You guys are literally balancing. The lighting's shocking, but you guys are balancing on a literal thing of salt. I want to show you a dress I bought from Supre, the sunnies I bought, and I got a, print, a package from Princess Polly. I thought it was about time I'd be a real adult and buy some good sunnies. So I bought some Ray-Bans. This is what they look like. Sunnies, I could never find sunnies that suited me. And like, I just don't think I ever will find the perfect sunnies. But these were pretty close enough. So this is what they look like. They're sunnies for ya. They're like a, that's what they look like. That kind of color. Then we'll move on to the dress I bought from Supre. The Supre at Pack Fair have stepped up their game. They're not trying to market to 13 year olds anymore. I tell you that much. I walked in, I was shook like at their designs. Okay. I really, like it looked a bit weird off, 
but when I tried it on, it was one of those purchases where I was like, I have to get it. Like, I cannot leave this store because I will be thinking about this goddamn dress. Though, the sizing is very big. This is a two, like, a double X, X, like, extra small, like, extra, extra small. And right now, I am fairly, like, lean, which is cool. Still a bit gapy, but this is the dress. I'm in love. It's like a little color moment. Oh, I was obsessed. Looks better on, I will admit. But... And then from Princess Paul, I feel like I have a crack in my hip. Oh, there she goes. This is me opening it for the first time. Ooh, I got, okay. I got this top. Cute. I don't have like many tops, but this is one. It's like, I think it's called ruched at the top. It's, oh yeah, there we go, the straps. Like that, cute. I like, I like. We're just gonna chuck all the stuff in there. I also got this, this is a chocolate top that I actually wanna try on with my Gucci belt, which I might wear tomorrow. This is a pretty popular item at the moment. You know what? I bought all this stuff and now Princess Polly's having 70% off. Like, are you kidding? Could it have had 70% off when I was buying stuff? But that's the top. That's what it looks like. Very adorable. And then lastly, all right, I got these sandals and they're like cute ugly, all right? I'm low-key obsessed. I am, are you kidding? They're like chunky, but like, I feel like these look really like big though. Like, I don't know if my foot, I have a small feet. Oh no, nah, she's perfect. Are you kidding? Ah! I'm obsessed. All right, I'm gonna try on my outfit for tomorrow. Oh my God, my Gucci belt. Hello, the biggest purchase of them all. I'm too scared to open it, but this is what it is. I don't wanna, oh, I don't wanna open it. Okay, watch me keep this box for the next like 10 years. You guys are gonna think I'm the most basic bitch ever. I, I know I am a basic bitch. I know that. Um, so before you come at me, I am well aware that this is the most basic Gucci item that every girl owns. It's a Gucci belt, my friends. She's beautiful. I can't believe I own something Gucci. Are you kidding? Like, and none of this is to like brag or anything. I just wanted to like genuinely show you, but especially when it comes to things like designer things or more expensive items, such as like the Ray-Bans or the Gucci belt. Like I didn't get anything handed to me. I didn't grow up. Like my parents gave me amazing opportunities in the sense of like, you know, they, you know, really worked hard so I could do things like dance and cheer and like those sort of things. But I was never just given a lot. Like I was never given nice things like this. And I think that's a good thing because it's really made me be able to appreciate when I can go out and buy this like sort of belt or and it's not something I do often because a lot of the money I earn in my business goes back into my business so it's just nice to once in a while just splurge um, I've worked really really hard this year and nothing was ever given to me like I built my business from the ground up I'm already in an emotional state so now I'm just getting emotional oh it's been a week guys the show getting cancelled like oh my god I'm not normally like an emotional person but everything's just kind of hit me this week but no I really like nothing was handed to me on a silver platter and I don't want anything to be handed to me on a silver platter I worked so damn hard I've sacrificed so much. I have showed up for myself and my clients in moments where I really didn't want to. And, you know, I'm just so proud of the, not only the business I'm building, but the team I'm creating and the lives that are being transformed just through throughout. So, um, yeah, I just want to say like, Things like this, like I don't go out and buy this stuff often and I think it's okay to splurge and treat yourself every now and again. And you know, if you worked hard for it, you worked hard for it. So this was like probably the biggest purchase I've ever made. So it's just crazy to think like a year ago or probably just over a year ago, I was gonna give up on my business altogether. So really like guys, the power of like not giving up and even the power of like, whether you believe in it or not, manifestation is so real to me at least. Like every goal I've set out and I've really put out to the universe and worked hard for, I've achieved. And you know, the universe has your back and if something doesn't work out, then there's something better, you know, coming for you. But I'm just like beyond grateful. This is just crazy. But I'm gonna switch the vlog off there for tonight. I'm gonna vlog a little bit tomorrow, probably just at the dinner, and then I'm also including a leg day in this video. So, hope you enjoy that little unboxing. I'm just gonna be excited. So, I just came back from doing my first little shop since comp's been cancelled. I gave Katie a haul of my groceries that she didn't even ask for, but I was excited. Let's try and just show you what I got. So, I got this little mug so I can make baked oats, light cheese, we got some veggies, so we've got a few like salad mixes and spinach. We've got ham, 
sugar free ready. We've got these. I really want to try these custard protein bars. They look pretty legit. We've got yogurt, baking powder, because I'm going to make baked oats tomorrow. I'm also going to film what I eat in a day tomorrow, but I'm going to include that in the next video. We've got some teriyaki sauce, Singapore noodles, sandwich thins, flashes, lol. Uh, that, sugar, that Red Bull's not mine. We've got just veggies again, egg whites, an equal for my baked oats. We've got almond milk and the new Coles 50% low carb bread. So that's like an overview, very unorganized overview but um i was literally at the shops for like an hour because it was so much fun but yay back to eating semi-normal Sunday vlog thought I'd take you along my day I am I was gonna finish off the vlog but then I was like I don't know today I'm just spending the day with myself it's been a pretty full-on week ignore this pimple I cannot stop staring at it but it's been a really full-on week and I'm just like let's just take myself to the Gold Coast the weather looks kind of shitty but that's all right but let's go to the Gold Coast go to the beach bring a book I did a bit of work this morning as well kind of like a get your like a gist day like a why isn't it focusing like a get your shit together day but I'm wearing this dress
dress from City Beach and my new little sandals. They're like ugly, but like cute ugly from Princess Polly, which I think I showed you the other night. But I'm gonna eat and head on my way down to the Gold Coast. So I just thought I'd take you guys with me. I'm going to be by myself, but really you guys are gonna be with me. Still staying prepared. I've got a stir fry here. Which I'm gonna put in there. We've got the Muscle Nation custard protein bars. I tried the cookies and cream one last night, guys, and holy shit, they are so good. Just make sure to um, account for the sugar alcohols because they aren't five grams of carbs. It's more like 18, but I'm keen to try this one today. But yeah, putting that all in there. I get to wear my new sunnies for the first time today, so keen for that. Water, monster, salt, my best friend. Burley is so busy today. I needed to pee so bad and I was getting frustrated because there's no parks. But I pulled up to the McDonald's at Burley and went to the bathroom. So the 7-Eleven, so I hit up a meal. So I'm just going to sit in my car by myself. Bit sad. Um, have this meal. Then I'm just going to drive up the coast to just when I, whenever, what is that lighting? To whenever I can get a car park and then go for a swim and everything. It'll be good. <laughs> outro this vlog I know I look disgusting this past week was probably one of like the toughest weeks mentally more than anything like show being cancelled a few things you know personal and everything so I just didn't really feel like vlogging the rest of Sunday um, you know I just had a bit of a few things happen and now I'm sick, so that's great. Um, I honestly, like, it's not a great week. I just think that, and like, I'm breaking out, like, people's really annoying me. But I think it's just, I've pushed my body to that point. I work all day Monday, like, more than I ever have. I started at 6 a.m., didn't finish till 9.30. And I think I'm just, like, overdoing it. And my body's, this is my body's way of telling me to slow down. So, that pimple's really bothering me too. And, oh, it's just been, like, such a tough week. But we're not going to leave it on a negative note because there's only a few more days till I go on holiday holiday to Ellie Beach and there's just so many things to look forward to so no more negativity we had our week we can't sit in it for too long it's time to get moving so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog bit of an update bit of a random vlog a bit of bit of everything really but you know I hope you guys you know still stay around even though there's no comp prep series as per se I do have some exciting video ideas coming from like four days of eating I'm gonna vlog my early trip and also a vlog leading into the photo shoots because I will be prepping for that. So I really hope you guys stick along because, you know, there will be a season two of Bikini Prep Diaries next year. I promise you that. And, you know, the support I've gotten has been awesome. And I really enjoy making these YouTube videos. So in saying that, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do um, down below. Press the notification bell so you never miss another episode or video. Leave some video suggestions down below as well because I can get a bit more creative. But I hope you guys enjoyed yeah enjoyed my little update have an amazing rest of your week bye